So here are three tips that are going to help you put away short balls like Felix did right here. Now, first, this video is courtesy of PTSO on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. So first, let's watch this point, and then we'll analyze it. So that was a really fun point to watch. So let's check out what sets up that weak ball in the middle that Felix was able to put away. And it's this shot right here. Notice how deep he hits the ball. Depth is the number one way to force an error or force your opponent into hitting a weak shot. So notice how high he hits this ball over the net. He's not skimming the net. There's really good height. That ball's traveling over the net by about three, three and a half feet. And what does that mean? The ball carries and it lands deep. So please pay attention to your air target, how high you're hitting the ball over the net, which is what is going to give you the depth that forces errors or forces weak shots. So Yannick barely gets to that ball. And then here is where Felix comes in to put this ball away. So a couple things. First, Felix is not running at the ball but rather he's moving to the side of the ball so he can extend his arm as he's striking. You see a lot of recreational players. If the ball is here, they'll run to here. They'll actually run to the ball. Felix is running in. He's actually running forward, staying away from the ball so he can extend his arm. Look how his arm is extended. If you're the type of player who gets a weak ball and you always feel jammed, it's because you're running at the ball. You need to run to the side of the ball that way you can extend your arm out so you can crush it. The next thing, notice he's running in and he's turning with both hands on the racket. You do not want to run forward with your body facing forward. You'll notice as he's running, he immediately starts turning his body to face to the side. And when the ball bounces right there, his chest is facing directly to the side with both hands on the racket. That is typically not what you see in recreational tennis. In recreational tennis, you see the player still with their chest forward, and then they go, oh no, and they quick try to turn, but then they're too late. So you need to move in quickly to the side of the ball, and you have to make sure that your body is to the side by the time the ball bounces. That way you're not going to be late when you get there. The last thing, it's really I'm going to give you two things here. Notice he's playing this ball above net level. When you play the ball above net level, that means you get to drive the ball and you can crush it wherever you want. I, believe it or not, a lot of recreational players in this situation, they let the ball drop below net level and then they have to lift the ball to get it to go over the net. So you've got to be moving in quickly to get this ball when it's above net level. And last, it's not a bad idea when you are going to crush this ball to hit it to your opponent's weaker side. If you think that's your opponent's backhand side, then crush it toward their backhand side. But copy these tips and the chances of winning the point when your opponent hits a weak ball go way up. Now, if you want to learn new strategies to help you win more matches, then I want you to check out the new rules of singles. Will Hamilton from Fuzzy La Bulls teamed up with Craig O'Shaughnessy, the leading stats guy in the world, bringing you the latest tactics that the pros are using on tour right now to help you win more matches. To check out the new rules of singles, all you have to do is either go to the app store and get the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app, or you can click the link, it's in the description, I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you wanna find a local league in your level, or you wanna find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. We want to force our opponents into hitting weak shots. So we saw Felix drive this ball really deep. The deeper you make the ball land, the more likely you force an air or force a weak ball. And Yannick barely got his racket on the ball and the ball popped up short. Here's the key. First and foremost, when you go forward, don't go at the ball. If you go at the ball, you're running at the ball almost like you're going to run into the ball with your chest and now you're going to get jammed. You want to run to the side of the ball. So it's really important when you run forward that you run over here. You don't run at the ball, but you run to the side of the ball. That allows you to have an extended arm as you're striking. 
Next, when you go forward, don't run with your chest facing forward. Run to the side with both hands on the racket. That's going to get you turned. And when you turn, you can hit the ball over here. You can hit the ball over here. You can hit the ball anywhere you want if your body is turned. And I, I wanted to say last, but I'm actually going to give you two more ideas. When you contact this ball, and it's so important, or this is why it's so important that you stay away from it, we want to contact this ball above net level. We are looking to drive this ball. If you allow the ball to fall too low, then you have to lift it and you squander the opportunity to drive it. And last, think about which side is your opponent's weaker side. Don't be afraid to just drive it to their weaker side. So in case they do guess, at least they're going to have less of a chance to do much with that ball. We want to force our opponent into errors and weak shots, but we got to be able to attack those weak balls. Copy these ways of attacking a short ball, and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.